Hello everyone, welcome to Pande Groji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to continue complete SQL tutorial, uh, uh, which is I already uploaded 69 video in my YouTube channel. Uh, if you didn't get a chance, uh, you can go and uh, watch all this video uh, before starting this video. So I already uploaded till the trigger uh, here. Yeah. So in this video, I will discuss about uh, how you can enable or the disable the trigger. So you can visit uh, Pande Groji YouTube channel and uh, under the playlist, uh, we have the English uh, SQL tutorial for beginner and complete SQL and database tutorial. Uh, if you want to learn the SQL in the Hindi language as well, so a uh, video available under the Hindi SQL tutorial for beginner. Uh, I also started to provide the SQL uh, uh, interview preparation for the data analytics or the business analyst or the uh, data scientist. So you can uh, visit and uh, uh, find the all the video under the playlist uh, interview preparation. And uh, you, if you want to practice also, uh, you can find uh, SQL practice exercise. Uh, if you want to more question, uh, you can visit my website study ID education and uh, you can enroll any of the courses and also you can uh, download my uh, app mobile app to learn the SQL and the Python. The link is given in the video description. So uh, let's start with today video, this video. So in this video, I will discuss about uh, uh, how to enable or disable uh, any trigger so this is a very important uh, uh, required if you want if you working in the real time so sometimes due to performance issue or sometimes uh, uh, any type of the issue sometimes we need to be frequently enable the trigger uh, frequently we need to be uh, disabled the trigger so uh, let's discuss uh, how we can enable any trigger in any time or the disable any trigger any time so let's jump to the SQL Server uh, Management Studio. So in the last video, I uh, already created the uh, three trigger. One is for the insert, the second one is the for the update, and the third one is the for the delete. So I have this uh, main table, employee test table. So if you put the select statement, you can see this data I got inserted. And uh, this is the audit table, which is the if you any operation update, insert or delete will perform under uh, this table, the data will be automatically triggered under the audit table. So last video, I already discussed that uh, the main concept of the trigger is to use for the auditing purpose. So now you can see the no uh, data inserted here. So suppose I am going to insert one uh, employee information under the uh, employee test so once you insert the data here okay so you can see the trigger will automatically fired here so now if you go to this table uh, employee test audit you can see this data automatically inserted and uh, when the data inserted it audit uh, timestamp is there so if you want to update any information like uh, i am going to update information for employee ID 6 for 11 six zero salary uh, trigger is also fired for the update as well. So now you can see update, update, trigger fired. If you go back to the uh, this audit table, you can see second record will be inserted for the update, like so on. Okay. So basically, uh, whenever we have some type of the requirement to uh, how we can enable any trigger or how we can disable the any trigger any time. So the main uh, concept before starting to enable disable how you can find the trigger name okay so if you if you are that uh, if you are the developer not created the trigger and if you have to find the trigger name uh, just you can go back with the same database and put the select star from uh, sys dot objects okay so sys dot object store all the object information so here we have the table a store procedure so within this uh, how you can find the what is the type of the trigger and what is the type description of the trigger so simply you can put the distinct so uh, distinct keyword uh, is basically used for the find the distinct value and you can put the type here and type and uh, type description okay 
type description so uh, you will get the type and type description of all the object okay so basically so for the all the object so now you can see uh, each and every object you get the type and type description like view uh, is a b so a square trigger is a tr so you can just copy uh, tr and again you can put the select star from now uh, select star from sys dot uh, objects where type is equal to where type is equal to tr okay so you will get all the trigger uh, which is created under this database and uh, you, you can also find the all the information uh, that uh, when uh, this trigger is created and when the trigger is updated so i have trg after insert trg after update and trg after delete so in this database uh, total three trigger is created so if you have the requirement to uh, disable or enable any of the trigger so uh, first trigger is created so first i will discuss how you can uh, disable a trigger so to disable a single trigger so you can see the syntax is alter table and the table name okay uh, alter table table name and the disable trigger and the trigger name so i am going to trigger for the insert statement disable so once you disable the insert statement disable uh, previously when we insert the data trigger is automatically fired now i'm again going to insert this time trigger will not fire the reason is i disable the trigger so you can see there is no message is coming and also alexandra data inserted into the implied test table but it will not insert under the audit table because i already uh, disabled the trigger but if you want to remove the any of the employer okay like uh, i mean going to in, remove from the employer test 2 the delete will be triggered fire because i disable only for the insert statement okay so uh, you you can see the trigger will fire for the delete but if you want to disable all the trigger just you can put the alter table table name uh, disable trigger all okay so uh, so all the trigger will be disabled here yeah. so now you can see now the all the trigger will be disabled so if you want to go back and remove the data of the three so the data will be trigger will be not fired so you can see trigger will be is not firing if you want to again enable the trigger so the same you can put the alter table table name enable trigger and uh, trigger name if you want to say enable all the trigger just you can put the trigger all okay so all the trigger will be enabled so now go back to here and now you can see all the trigger is enabled and if you want to remove the data like i'm going to remove for the employee id 4 again the trigger will be fired okay so you can see after delete trigger fired so this is the way anytime you can enable the trigger or anytime you can disable the trigger you can note down this uh, uh, syntax and this is the very helpful to you to anytime enable the trigger or the disable the trigger after that also if you have any question if you have any doubt okay you can uh, put the question in the video description so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video uh, we will meet again in next video thank you